Hello, and welcome back to my Owl Sanctuary Simulator. Or, wait, no, it's Sevtech Ages of the Sky Let's Play. Yeah, that's right. Uh, today we'll be going over the Totemic mod and getting uh, our foot in the door there. But first I just did want to go over something quickly with charcoal. So two different ways to make charcoal in the pack. We can put uh, an entire oak wood into the kiln which will give us the low grade charcoal which we use to create the infinite fire there but if you put that low grade charcoal into the grindstone you will get four charcoal out of it so if we just go to the uses on here you can see in the grindstone it will give us four charcoal the other way is to make these oak log stacks so you need the stripped logs you put two of them together and you will get the oak log stack and then you can bury those into the dirt and you can make great big charcoal pits if you want of these but I am going to just do it as a test to see about the um, efficiency of it. So you put your oak log stack into the ground so you pretend you, maybe I got six or eight or twelve or whatever you want to do there. And you light it on fire with your sticks. Oops, I just put it out. Actually, you don't even need two sticks. You just need one. And then you cover it with a piece that has to be covered. And then you will see this slow um, bit of smoke coming up. And then it just, it will take a while. I have no idea how long, but after that stops smoking, then there will be charcoal under there. So let's get into the totemic mod. Uh, we're going to look at the advancements down here. So once you get past your leather, then you get to the shake, rattle, and roll achievement. Craft the rattle, flute, and drum. And then you get the totempedia, which is the book for the mod. These books usually contain everything we need to know uh, in the mod. But um, I've made the drum, the flute, and the rattle that gave me the totempedia. I've also made a chime because we will need this to do one of the rituals and it also helps us make um, the more music while we're doing our rituals and the totem whittling knife. So we'll just go over the um, recipes for this a little bit quickly. This is where you will want to have ground out some of the sugar canes because it'll take three sugar canes to make jingles and then the jingles in a stick to make the rattle. Mm. The flute, you will need the uh, shears to get yourself grass mm. and or a fern with some sugar canes, gets you the flute. Drum, mm. you need a piece of leather and some wood. And the chimes is a little bit complicated but overall not too bad. And uh, you can make multiple of these to help make more music but i just need one for what i am doing today also while i was out and about i did find myself some dark oak biomes so with the dark oak i can make the upgraded work stump mm. so the work stump mm. allows me to make multiple crafts on the workbench uh, at a time so it's a de definitely a well needed up upgrade and uh, probably the best thing about it is it gives us our crafting rock a little sleeping bed. So there's a little bed down there for this rock to sleep on now. It's very nice. I enjoy. So we will take the chime, take the drum, and grab the totempedia. So I've got things set up and ready to go over here. So I will put down my chimes on the uh, leaf block. So on a leaf block it will be more likely to make noise. It doesn't have to be a leaf block but I think it jingles a little bit better from my understanding anyways. I don't haven't done any concrete testing on this. We'll just put a drum down so that we got a drum ready and then in the book here oh, I was sifting through it there so let's just go back. The totemic basis Basics will give us all the things that we need for Sevtech, so it'll explain Melody, Red Cedar Tree, and Buffaloes. If you want to get into reading everything that's in there, then you can go ahead and do that. There's uh, some useful, semi-useful things that are in there. Uh, we are going to be looking at ceremonies because in here it will tell us 
that we need to do the rite of spring ceremony and it only tells you about breeding animals but it will also turn saplings into red cedar so that was how we get the red cedar that we need to make the gears um, and some other things later on in the mod and then the other one is the buffaloes so buffaloes um, will need to consult the totempedia for more information so we just look in here ceremonies oh buffalo dance uh, that sounds like it has something to do with buffaloes so to make buffaloes we will start the ceremony by sneak and right clicking on our drum and then sneak right clicking on a wind chime and that will start the ceremony it takes two out of five bars of music there so uh, it's not super intensive on the music and then we'll just oh we just go back oh, back one and we take a look at this rite of spring it will tell us all about that if we have villagers we could breed villagers but we would need emeralds to do that and then any nearby saplings will be converted over to red cedar to start the ceremony we need the flute and the drum and it takes the most minimal amount of music so let's just get ourselves set up here. Uh, so to do any of the ceremonies, you do need to make a totem base. So with the um, totem whittling knife, which is just a piece of flaked flint and a stick there, you get this and you can make all sorts of different um, totems, which will have different effects. Uh, if you want to know about totems and effects, it is just in there. It'll tell you about building totem poles and all the effects of all the different uh, animals that you can get on there. So if you just right shift and right click on there, you can cycle through all of the different kinds. But also shift and scroll wheel allows you to go up and down and to go a lot faster as well. So the bare minimum we need to do ceremonies is the totem base. So when we have the totem base selected, we just right click and we'll get the totem base there. We don't need any of the other things, but when I used to do this pit um, um, holding pen in the past, I would um, put a spider on there, which would allow me to climb up out of the wall, or the, there's also a double jump, a double high jump one. So those are the ones, some of the other ones that I have used in the past, but we don't need that anymore with that new mod that is, allows us to hold onto the walls with shift and mm -hmm. jump up. All right, so let's get some saplings placed down so we can transform these into the red cedar. That should be enough. So the right of spring, I've already forgotten. So back to ceremonies, right of spring, flute, drum. So shift, right click, flute, shift, right click, drum, and there we go. And then I alternate between my rattle and my flute and that helps us make music quite fast as you can see there we go we've completed the rite of spring if I had put down some um, wheat by those cows they would have bred but I don't need more cows bred just at this time so I didn't do that Let's go and plant a couple of these red cedar saplings so that we got time for them to grow. Three should be enough for now. All right, and then the next one that we are going to do is we're going to turn these cows into buffaloes. So back to the totempedia, back to the buffalo dance, and it's drum and wind chime. So with an empty hand, sneak, right click, sneak, right click, and there we go with the buffalo dance. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this one's a little bit more intensive on the music. There we go. So each 
um, iteration of the ceremony will get us to buffaloes. Now with the carry on mod, you can pick up baby buffaloes, but you cannot pick up adult buffaloes. So just something to keep in mind. And I'm going to transport these guys away from the hole. And I'm going to make two more buffaloes down there. And we're still waiting. Oh, it looks like our charcoal has finished. So let's just grab this baby buffalo and get him out in free. Oh, and it looks like uh, something I was testing. I had um, some cows at different health levels. So they maintain their health levels after the transformation, just something to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, let's go take a look and see. So from two stripped logs, we got 11 charcoal. So looks like it's much more efficient to do the um, primal core um, method for making charcoal if you're going to go about that way. In regular SevTech ages, I didn't find it necessary to make charcoal too much because the when you get out and you find those coal veins all over the place, then you end up with so much coal that you really don't have much need for the charcoal. But yeah, so there you go. I think that is all that I have to go over in this one. Uh, oh, yes, so sleeping mat. So this, mm -hmm. along with the TP, are your first two options for sleeping in the pack and setting spawn points. Um, they are both pretty uh, leather intensive. Well, this one requires three leather. It's not too bad. This one requires four, if I'm not mistaken. Five. So yes, the TP is a little bit more intensive. The sleeping mat is much better, um, but you do need to get the rush stems. I didn't start with any rush on my island and the don't think I've seen any. Actually, wait, I do remember seeing some. They are over on that swamp island over there. Um, there's some over there, so if I wanted, when I want to make my sleeping mat, I will have to make my way over there and go through the process of getting what I need to make the sleeping mat. We'll just make, when I do go out and adventure a little bit more from island to island to island, it will be handy to be able to sleep well away from the base because I won't have all of the other islands lit up, obviously. That does conclude everything I was going to talk about today. I appreciate your view. If you want, drop a like and a comment if you have any questions thus far. And I will see you in the next one.